So since some time has passed, I finally want to talk about this anime because I figured a decent amount of people that actually, I guess, enjoy the series probably watched it by now. Because it came out on Thursday, August the 4th, and that's Kakeguri Twins. Now, if you don't know what this is, this is literally the prequel to the regular series, and this follows Mary. And it literally follows her when she, like, first transfers into her first year. So Yumiko's not in this because it's literally a prequel before she comes, and Yumiko comes in their second year. And in this, we only get six episodes. It sucks that we only got six episodes because, like, I love the series. I love the Kagegui series, like, the regular series. But this spinoff was just as good because it had some of the same stuff we see, especially, like, with the intense gambling, all the crazy faces they make, all the crazy eyes and stuff like that. And we're introduced to a lot of different characters, like, newer characters that we that are not in the regular Kagegui, mainly because there's some of them are third years. And by the time Yumiko gets there, they've already graduated from the school and, you know, they moved on in life. Or if you read the manga, maybe they show up in the manga, but I don't think so. I think I'm pretty sure they're just gone. But yeah, let's talk about this because Kataguri Twins was pretty interesting. Especially if you like Mary, you'll enjoy this one a lot. I mean, I saw some people talking about, oh, I don't want to watch this because it doesn't have Yumiko in it. When I'm like, dog, if you like the series, you'll enjoy this too. It's just a prequel and you literally see some of the stuff that like happens. Like some of the setup and some characters before like they're in the places they are in the regular series. Like... One of the ones is, is if, you know, Shorty with the gun that has the gun gasm, you know, that's assessed over Yumiko that goes crazy every time she sees Yumiko. We see her in here and we see how, like, she has some of her roots and, like, we can see, like, some of the setup of how she's going to eventually get on the student council type of thing. But, yeah, she's in here. We see a little thing of her. We also see, like, how Mary has her upbringing and how, like, she's kind of getting into, like, her own when it comes to this school because, you know, she's kind of like Yumiko because the way they play her off in this is she kind of starts like Yumiko, just not as crazy because, you know, Yumiko was, you know, didn't really care about none of the rules and she didn't care about none of that we just see like mary's side and like how mary gets her start and some of the friends she get like shorty with the blue hair how she becomes her friend and then also like the one shorty with the glasses i forgot her name exactly but yeah we have her and then there's a lot of interesting newer characters they introduced like so also it's like one of the, one of the characters i like that they introduced was sachiko who is the chairman of the public moral committee and like she's a new third year that they introduced that's not in like the regular series and she's interesting trust me dog she has some demon eyes she has some demon eyes and also she you you know like the pet system they use she uses her pet kind of wild like literally the girl she has she literally has her a collar wrapped around her neck and has her chained up and then like her pet is like super crazy for her and assessed over her that she gets mad at mary because you know mary has is piquing everybody's interest because like how she's coming to this school and has this new type of style and the way she's setting up stuff so there's a lot of different people that are going crazy or like there's another third year that's on the student console he has like orange hair i think his name like owie or something like that whatever his name is i'm probably saying it wrong whatever but him he's going crazy over her because like he wants her to join his like club or like thing that's supposed to help like all the people that are, like you know are in the pet system that like you know are house pets or whatever they're called but he's trying to he's trying to get mary to join her and like it's interesting seeing like how he's trying to like really get her and all these different things she has to go through to like even though she really doesn't want to join this but i'll say this though his um fiance, her name's like Sakura, that's on the beautician community or whatever, that's on the student council, bruh. He does her so dirty at the end of the series. I'll say that. He's like the end of, I guess, this six episodes, because I'm not the end of the series. I mean the end of the six episodes, because trust me, there's way more that they can cover, and I don't know why we only got six episodes, but, uh, seven, six episodes, but I digress. But yeah, he does her dirty. He's like, dog, I do not need you no more. And he's like, dog, I'm only marrying you because it will help me financially and all that. And I'm like, damn. I was like, yeah, he just said, yeah, he does not give two, two fucks about you. I was like, oh, I was like, that piqued my interest. I was like, oh, I was like, he being savage like that. I was like, okay. I was like, hey, I might mess with you now. And then like he tried to get Mary because he's obsessed with Mary and he's trying to get Mary to join his like club, whatever. And she's like, nah, dog. After she saw like how disrespectful he was towards his fiance, she was like, nah, I'm not doing that shit. Nah. And, but still out of these six episodes it was really good like one of the ones one of the like things i really enjoyed was like seeing the gambling aspect again because you know it's been a minute since like season two of Katagui was on there and now we got you know this and like one of the games i liked they had two interesting games one of the games that was like one of the big like games they had was like it was called like the coupling party or i guess you could say like the dating game and like you're trying to like so like you have guys and girls and they're basically if you're trying to get money like as a girl you're basically trying to like confess to somebody and make it that they like don't want to confess to you and like they didn't accept your confession or so you get money stuff like that or if like the person you ask out or whatever if they accept it then you have to pay them and while also getting a relationship or whatever so like there's that dating game it was interesting because the first time 
when they do it, like Mary and all them lose because like all their like date thing gets accepted because like that's where she finds out like, oh, there's a traitor here and she's getting all upset. So like they go it and do it again with the same group and this time they win besides one person that was a traitor. So it was interesting seeing that, seeing like Mary with her strategies and stuff like that. And another one was like the final one of the season or I guess the six episodes was literally the treasure hunt. And that was interesting because like you saw like there's all these other little steps there that Sachiko set up and like you saw that Sakura thought she won at first when really there was like a whole another grand ass plan. So yeah, that was like interesting seeing that. Like I said, I'm so mad we did not get more than six episodes because there's way more they can cover. There's literally 12 volumes. Like there's 12 volumes. They only covered the first three volumes in this six episodes. So it's like they could have at least covered up the volume six just saying i forgot how many chapters exactly this series has but i know it does have 12 physical volumes up to date so i mean it's a series that's still continuing so i'm like i feel like we could have got more because i was looking it up to try and see if we were going to get more or what because i was like six episodes seems kind of short and you know like sometimes netflix only gives you stuff like you know like a few things at a time especially like you know jojo part six and you only get it like in a bunch because like you know they have that stupid binge 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 when it comes to anime when it's like sometimes you don't need a binge but still we got this big group of just six episodes I wish we could have got more because I wanted more because it just has me wanting more or just like a season three announcement of the regular series just saying but yes this is really nice seeing them I enjoyed it a lot if you saw this if you saw Kakagui twins let me know how you feel about it if you've not seen it yet go on Netflix right now it's literally on there everybody has Netflix I know Netflix is dying right now because a lot of people drop whatever but you know somebody that has Netflix go watch it you're enjoy it trust me you're enjoy it like like I said even if you like Yumiko and like you only watch the series because of Yumiko still watch this it's still good like I said if you like the the gambling aspect and the school aspect of all of it you'll enjoy this series like i've seen so many people especially because i talked about it on my tiktok and they're talking about like how they couldn't basically they didn't want to watch it because like yumiko's not, not there and i'm like dog if you want to see the crazy faces and the gambling just watch this it's a prequel just watch it it'll, it'll have some of the setup that you see that's like literally come like some of the setup and some of the things and the themes that you see in the regular series and how it gets there like one of the things is like the pet system we see how that's basically slowly implemented because you know the student council president the newer one you know that she's a freshman too so you're seeing like some of the stuff how she like first set it up and like how it's affecting because like i'm not sure exactly what time like mary like transfers into the school because i don't think they really give us like a exact date like compared to like when like the start of the semester was and like when she transferred in but i mean you're seeing some of like the the drawbacks for the pet system and what's all happening with this school and stuff like that so i mean it's really interesting seeing some of this setup and i really hope we get more because i want to know like how like we get into like the regular series like the second year like how like what all happens and like i looked some of the spoilers up a little bit to see what happens to some of these characters because some of these characters like the blue head girl and the glasses girl we never see like in the regular series so i was trying to figure out like why don't we see them but i mean at the same time maybe they could be in the manga and they just weren't in the anime it could be that too but the blue head girl i did see that basically she might have like after the end of category twins that she might go somewhere so i'm not sure but yeah kegagui twins was really good if you've seen it let me know if you've like, not seen it go watch it right now like i said it's on netflix but it was pretty good i'm happy that we got some kekagrui um content because like i said i mess with it heavily hopefully a season three can get announced sometime in the future because trust me we need it like like dog we really need it because it's been a minute since that series but i mean i'm happy we got this like i said if you like mary you enjoy this series a lot i liked it a lot because mary like i said i like yumiko too but i also like mary too as a character so i mean it was pretty enjoyable though but if you've seen it let me know how you feel about it if you're new why not subscribe if you enjoyed the video why not like if you, you could dislike subscribe if you really enjoyed but yeah really pretty interesting six episodes but i want more i know i've been saying this whole video because it's like they only gave us six episodes and i want more badly because it was really good though but let me know how y'all feel about the six episodes that we got in the comments and like i said if you're not seeing it please go watch it if you actually stayed this long and watched this point in the video you've not watched it go watch it right now on netflix though but thank you for watching i'll see you next video though bye